this is Amy with the Hag Reads. Um, this is going to be a short video today. Um, I have two cookbooks and a couple of movies that I picked up from the library. Uh, just a short library haul going on here today. Um, I have totaled everything but my pages for um, October, so that will probably be in my Spooktober or 31 Days of Horror video. Um, that I'm going to do in just a little bit. Um, I won't have anything completed because today is the first day and I'm still working on the actual video and book that I'm reading. So um, uh, that is coming. So the first actual video that will contain completed items will fall tomorrow. There'll be things I finished today, but later today, and I'm not going to make a video, uh, you know, at 9 or 10, 11 o'clock at night when I finish. I'll just wait and do it tomorrow uh, at a more convenient time. So um, today's video is just a short, short two cookbooks. Um, the Good Housekeeping Family Vegetarian Cookbook, Family Vegetarian Cooking. 225 recipes everyone will love. Um, uh, this is, again, it's a library haul. Um, now I I haven't looked at these as in-depth as I did the other set I got, but I did a quick flip through, and I actually think I'm going to get a fair number of recipes out of this. Uh, a number of them look good and sufficiently different from what I've seen in the other cookbooks I've looked at. Um, so I'm going to be taking a much closer look at this coming up in a couple of days here. The other one that I picked up was um, Everyday Vegetarian, a delicious guide for creating more than 150 meatless meals by the editors of Cooking Light. Now I have the another cookbook by the same uh, people and uh, it's the 365, you know, it's positioned or um, divided seasonally. Um, and I did a quick flip through. There's a few because it's category based instead of by season. I think there are a few additional recipes I might be able to call out of here, but I wouldn't buy this if I bought the other one because the recipes between the two are relatively similar, enough similarity that it wouldn't be worth uh, owning both of them. But I think um, with this good housekeeping book, I think I might uh, look up that one and see how much that costs. Um, it was different enough and I like good housekeeping magazine. Go ahead. But I liked it before I was old, just so you know. Um, I can feel you judging me right now, and that's okay. Um, but of those two, I would be definitely, I think, inclined to, to buy the uh, Good Housekeeping one, but not the Everyday Vegetarian. But I do, I did flip through, uh, look like a number of good recipes. Some additional soups, I think. I don't go in for cold soup at all. I don't care how good you think it is. It grosses me out, so... Um, and a lot of the vegetarian soups are cold soups, at least in, that I've encountered so far. Um, so that's what I've got there. And I did do a clip, uh, the quick flip through on this one too, um, which is how I know that the recipes are similar. But there was uh, like a grains section where I saw some additional recipe in the soups. And then uh, in the to there was a, a section on tofu and meat substitutes um, that I thought might provide some additional um, recipes as well. Those are heavy, I'm sorry. Uh, the other two things I have real quick that came in from the library. Um, the Circle. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I didn't know Emma Thompson was in this. Or is it Emma Thompson? Emma Watson. I didn't know Emma Thompson. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. Emma Watson was in this and I really like her um, since Harry Potter. I do think she's a, a genuinely good actress, and um, I like the things she advocates for. I think she's a fine young woman. I'm not a big fan of Tom Hanks, though, so we'll see. Um, I'll be interested to see the differences between the movie and the book. Um, probably watch this, uh, what is today, Sunday? Probably watch it by Wednesday, so maybe I'll talk about it later in the week, even though it's not necessarily a Halloween thing, but it's based on a book, so it's <laughs> booktube adjacent. Um, and then this is, uh, one of my favorites. I watch it every year. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I got a rock. Um, 
This is not my first um, horror movie pick for the month. Um, I already have one picked out that I'm going to watch here in a little bit. I want to turn off all the lights and watch it in the dark. <laughs> and it's a cheesy horror movie. But this is one of my favorites, and I do watch it every year. Have not yet seen it this year. I, I just got it in for the library. Super excited. I'll want to watch it a couple of times and then send it back because um, it has no renewals on it naturally. It's October. Everybody's going to want to watch it. So I don't want to hold on to it to, for the full rental period or for the full checkout period because I want other people to enjoy it too. Um, and that's it. I think this will be my shortest video ever. Um, I will have another separate video for Spooktober or, or my 31 Days of Horror and it will be equally short. Um, it'll just be uh, the book that I'm reading and a brief synopsis and the movie that I picked out and a brief synopsis and then I'll get back to you tomorrow with my feelings on the completion of that and with the choices for tomorrow which will you know so that's how this will work for me uh throughout the month i hope you are having a wonderful whatever uh time of day it is for you if you have watched all the way to the end thank you so much and um i will see you next time bye